black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge to empire and reality is simple. Reality is simple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge to empire and reality is simple. I'm like, some of them are sorry they are free now. Some of them now would rather be slaves. Which would you rather be on the Me? Which I'd rather be? <laughs> you know what I'd rather do? If I thought that I'd ever be a slave again, I'd take a gun and just end it all right away. Watch as we pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Ashe. In fact, I tend to the garden of the mind and the pool of the soul daily, praying ceaselessly with boldness, casting my cares on the provider of all things. The protection I have is truth based in wisdom. Mission being to eradicate ignorance. With persistent due diligence, I step on devils. As holy breath speaks the straight path to eternal life, whom shall I fear? This is much more than rhetorical acrobatics set to rhythm. Our work is an in-depth analysis into the houses built where the soul resides with precision. As J. Dave says, balance is anchored in the heart of the mind, beyond the point where ego and reason either coincide or collide with the most high in the people. Plight of the youth be why my lyrics so lethal. Weapon is pen. Words going into the most driest soil as I wait for O Yah to reign. Nurturing and purifying. No more prisons. 
pistol popping, no more pain. Heaven on earth for real. Kinda place where we all gotta deal. New black people starting over. No more lying, signifying, carnal, clever to the utmost. Jesus saves those that bear their crosses. Same for doctors, toilet washers, cops, and lawyers. Justice is everybody's business. This is what we must mean when we say the word organizing post-2010 census. Know thyself and learn of the mysteries within so that your inner palace gleams immaculate ashe. Visions of living large with less, sitting on some acres, growing spelt, earning wealth, facing east. Mama Africa, bless up, getting grown, no more dress up. Coming home like Dennis Brown, holding swagger, mini universal, conscious sound. So as I roam far from home, I memorize this poem. Never money, not the ladies, nor the deals of the Mercedes. Lest I fall for death in Hades, God and God alone. Keep us safe in quiet danger. God and God alone. And God alone. And God alone. Watch as we pray. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, Ashe. In fact, I tend to the garden of the mind and the pool of the soul daily.
to stop. Claiming that black children don't need their fathers. We need to stop saying, and we got Father's Day coming up here. And we have embarrassing stuff that goes on all over the black community, starting with black women getting Father's Day cards. Well, black women, here's the thing. When you raise a child and he grows up to be an astronaut, a basketball player, you take credit for doing it all by yourself. So is it time for you to take credit for the Negroes that are coming out to the black community right now? Nobody wants to hold black women's feet to the fire on that. And I do it. I am an uncle Tom and I'm bashful. But what I would like for you to do is to deconstruct my arguments to say, you did not be hated mama. He gay. No, why don't you understand that nothing I say, even when I'm arguing or not, when I'm cussing or not, because when I don't cuss, you come up with a new argument. You've never just realized and openly said what he's saying is true. Now that was Mr. Tommy Sotomayor coming across with a message that was quite clear. Not obtuse, Why are we not loud and in your face, dumb and blind. not in any way Why is a negative message, but a very there? positive message, we seem and for the most part, a very, so very obvious. true message. Why are we mistreated? Why are we in this condition, stripped of our names, our language, our culture, our country, our God? Working for free! You been eat that you old George Jefferson chicken George looking motherfucker you! And let me see you in the streets, bastard! Here in America, all of our religious training has been gotten through the preacher. And he has told us of a heaven way up in the sky that we can't enjoy now, but rather after we die. But all of the years that we're living, for us there's nothing but hell, pain, torture, and misgiving. Yet the Bible speaks of a heaven filled with material luxury, which the white man and the preacher has right here, so we see. So my friend, I'm not really worried about convincing you about what I believe in. My main concern is to find people with the like-minded minds, like minister, the realist temple, the reality is temple on earth. I can relate with that guy. I can say he's talking sense because he has intelligence. And he doesn't come up with rubbish. He comes up with well thought conversations. He's thought about this. He's still thinking about it as right now as we speak about it. And after that, he'll be thinking about it because he's a thinker. He's not just a doer taking information and repeating it. He's a thinker. He's been intrigued. His mind's been intrigued by reality, by things on earth that have woken him up so enough respect to him one of the greatest minds on your tube who ain't got no establishment I don't think I don't know what he what what he has or what he does but the greatest minds sometimes don't have much you know what I'm saying because I don't have much I, I barely just got this in my head and a few things no responsibilities though so, it's just about communicating this video. It's tricky. It's tricky. The minds of others have been living a way which is backwards or wrong from they could walk. And they got good at being backwards and wrong and believing that backwards and wrongness. So when you talk about rightfulness and forwardness, they think it is nonsense because they've never worked on those lines. So, 
Yeah. That's, that came out alright. Usually, uh, it depends with t communicating. It's a battle, so either you win and you do it well and it comes out perfect. Or it's like you're just clashing with swords and you're not really getting what's in your head out to the world to understand. But, where's that drink? Big up to the ministry, the minister, whatever his name is, Angel Nut 7, yeah, I really enjoyed your videos man, they're a bit long now. My brother Angel Snub Nub 7 at the Reality Temple, and to give props to him because I listen to all of Angel Snub Nub 7's videos, I think that um, he comes from a different angle. And there's a powerful message in a lot of the videos that he put out, and I try to catch all of them. I, I look at him as a free thinker and a person that's willing to challenge those of which he don't agree with or which he may think differently from, and I really respect him for that. He's challenged KB, KMBS, and he has also challenged the black supremacy movement as well. And I have nothing against that because that which cannot be challenged cannot be stand, cannot stand and will not stand and will not survive the test of time. How many challenges we can withstand will determine how long we will be able to stand. Things that make you go, you know, these aren't jokes, these are thoughts, these are things that make you say, This may seem terrible, but my God, I didn't know you were black. We need to stop claiming that black children don't need their fathers. We need to stop saying, and we got Father's Day coming up here, and we have embarrassing stuff that goes on all over the black community, starting with black women getting Father's Day cards. For black women, here's the thing. When you raise a child and he grows up to be an astronaut, a basketball player, you take credit for doing it all by yourself. So is it time for you to take credit for the Negroes that are coming out to the black community right now? I'll agree with you. Most black men are sorry and ain't shit. I'm agree with you black women on that. I really am. Peace forever and always. Welcome to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program known here on the internet as the mighty, 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 mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. I would like to welcome Tommy Sotomayor to this forum and with that said I like to offer this response to what he just presented the human being is a mammal we are considered in biology mammals because we feed our babies milk that comes from mammary glands the females have breasts most female mammals that I know of and in nature you will see the majority they raise their babies alone one prime example of this and one of the favorite animals that black people 
well, not black people in general, but let's say black conscious men, black power males nowadays, they use as a symbol the lion. And you will see this symbol often in ancient Egypt. But the male lion does not raise cubs. The male lion does not educate the cubs. It is the lioness. In fact, it is the lioness that chases the prey that feeds the lion. The lioness is the one alone. Although the male lion may be in the pride, it is the lioness that raises the cubs alone. She raises both genders. And she also leads the pride. Now, the only thing we can see that the male lion does, and you will see this in most species of mammal, the male will offer uh, protection for the pride, for the family, and he is built to do that because he has size and strength. And of course, the job of the male, I wouldn't, I don't like to say job, but one of the function of men or males is to fertilize the female so that she may produce more of that species. I do not understand what the big uproar is about black women nurturing well actually that's something that's missing because there's a difference between raising children and nurturing children to raise a child is simply bringing the child into the world making sure that that child has food clothing and shelter things of that nature the same thing a farmer would do since the farmer raised corn, raised beans, raised tomatoes, raised cattle. The only thing you do is feed and shelter, things of that nature. You raise that raise that product. That's all that's required. But when you nurture a human being, a baby child, an immature human being, not only requires someone to raise them, but it requires that they nurture that child. And to nurture that child means teach them the things that they need in order to become a uh, competent, functional adult so that that child may be able to survive once it come into this life. A female lion. Or let's say for an example. A female deer. Will teach. Or nurture. Her fawns. To. Show that those. Baby deer. The foods to eat. And watch out for the lion. And. Show by example, since they cannot talk, show by example the things that they need to know in order to be a deer and survive. I will go back to that point. The black woman is a mammal. And she has raised for centuries our children since the days of slavery in this nation you want to talk about marriage but the slave master did not allow marriage the slave master did not allow the slaves to engage in something called marriage and many times the marriage would be uh, disconnected if they were allowed to marry because she might be sold to another slave owner or he might be 
sold to a slave owner or the children would be separated and sent to many different places. The black woman has had to learn and she has raised our children and nurtured to the best of her ability our babies for hundreds of years. And she done this even under a system, a condition where she was treated like a dog and y'all are so silly and so stupid that you call her a bitch. She was treated like a dog and her puppies were given away just like you do your dog like you do your uh, pit bulls today. We were treated, we, male and female, was treated like animals. It was the ability of the black woman since her male was destroyed. I'm going to say that again. Since her male was destroyed, it was upon the backs of the black woman in the best of her ability in this condition that made it possible for us to survive to this day. So for us to go around and try to demean and make mockery degrade this great woman, you should be ashamed. And for those who attempt to degrade and mock, violate the black woman, then you leave me no choice. Being from her womb and being her male, and the male, one of the male's functions is to protect his female. It does not matter if that female is crazy. It does not matter if that female is drunk. It does not matter what her condition is. It makes no difference what the condition of the female line is. That male line will to the best of, of his ability. And in most cases, he will die for his female. This is something that you and I as black men, we have lost. Because we are a destroyed man. But you will see that in the Caucasian pink man. You will see that in the Asian man. You will see that in all other men. They don't go around trying to destroy, make mockery of their women regardless to their condition. And they go to war to protect their women and their children. And you go to war to protect the Caucasian man's women and children. This shows that you have become sick, demented, and insane. And overall, considering the horrid, murderous, rape-filled condition that the black woman was born into and she had to survive, she has done a job enough where we still continue to exist right now. So, and in that, she has produced many great men, many great women, whether she was single or whether she was married. Makes no difference because her womb is a symbol of the greatness of the universe. And no matter how ignorant or stupid, that does not change. So even though a mother can be crazy, she can be a drunk and insane. She still has the potential to produce that which we call a person of fame, of greatness. And you will hear that spoken about from many of our people who are famous, who are, as some of y'all want to call successful, they would tell you that maybe mother or father wasn't that great, but out of, out of the womb still came forth a person that makes us to marvel once they show their greatness coming from the womb of this black woman. This is not to say that the father should not be present. Every child should have the right to know their father. Regardless if their father is considered good or bad. We all want to and have a yearn to know that which we come from. And being social beings, mammals, most mammals are social creatures. 
Some are loners. Some mammals only come together for reproduction purposes. But many animals, mammals, are social. It is a wonderful thing. And it is a comfort to a child. Because a human being is a child for many, many years. And it is a wonderful thing that this baby sees father and sees mother working together. But if mother and father cannot work together, then as adult people, they should be able to compromise and be civil with one another for the best interest of the development of their babies. This is not a black woman problem. This is not a black man problem. This is a, a human being problem in this world because it is so filled with violence. They solve their problems with missiles and drones and propaganda lying on people, stealing. This is how they solve their problems. So it is not an issue of gender. It is not an issue of race. It is an issue of living in a civilization and a society that was built upon lies and violence. And so the citizens, they just express what is in the civilization or the society. The society and the civilization are those, or it was built on people who were drunks, rapes, suffer from pedophilia, bestiality, murder, extreme violence. So why do you expect so much from a black woman? Why do we expect so much from a black man? When fornication and adultery all these things are legal. And so the only thing that you and I and this society is suffering is the consequence of ill behaviors. Legal. And it is glamorized by the movies. It is okay in educational circles. It is also tolerated in religious circles. Like I said before, in most mammals, it is the female that raises and nurtures the babies alone without the help of a male. Being a human being, if father wants to be involved in the process, that's all well and good and it is beautiful and chances are it does help produce a better child. There's no doubt about that. But never underestimate this black woman because she has shown over and over again she can do it by herself like any other female mammal. So why do we target or why do we put emphasis on father? We put emphasis on the need for a father in the house. And this comes from up out of a religious construct because you do not see this in nature. And religion was created by men. Religion was created by men with no contribution from women. And so these men that created and formed religion, it was developed and it has become an oppression of women. And religion brainwashed the women so they will believe that they are unable to properly raise children or do anything without men. This was done so that men can rule over women without any type of uh, rebellion. That's not the word I'm looking for. But without any kind of problem. Because the women will accept this doctrine and she will accept this male in her house 
to lead the family just because he has a penis. He does not have to earn any respect. He don't have to be competent as long as he has a penis. He can lead the family. So just because I'm a man, I'm a silly man, I'm a drunk, I'm a pedophile, I'm a rapist, I'm a murderer, but as long as I'm a man, I'm a liar, I'm a thief, but as long as I'm a man, I'm supposed to be worthy of leading women to the left or to the right or wherever I feel they need to go, just because I'm a man. This is brainwashing, and this is just a concept to keep women slave and under the control of men who have become corrupt. Because in nature, you will see that the female mammal is perfectly capable of raising, leading her household by herself. If the male chooses to help, help her, then that is all well and good. In conclusion, I will agree that if women want to take credit for the children that they produce that go on to be successful, what we view as successful, men and women, basketball players, lawyers, judges, whatever, or just a good person in general, if a woman wants to take full credit for that, then she should also take full credit for the disasters. And I agree with that also. You must take the bad with the good. But not to go off topic, I would like to say, Mr. Sotomayor, if that's the case, since you praise Caucasian people so much, since you think everybody else is greater and better than Caucasian people, I said that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> since you believe that the racists Pink people are so great. They doing everything so right. They, they are not producing ratchets and thugs. When, when in reality, if you knew history, and if you only open up your eyes a little bit, they are the original ratchets. They are the original thugs. Those who don't know their history, or don't know history in general, are damned to repeat it. So the only thing you are seeing it's people whose behaviors, who are ignorant of history. Just like yourself. You are ignorant of history. Because these are the original ratchets. The Caucasian people, the racist pink people that you praise are the original ratchets, the original thugs. Where do you think that the black man and woman is getting these behaviors from? We're not getting it from Africa. We're not getting it from Asia. We are learning these things from living in a society that we did not build, but the Caucasian racist people built. They control the media, education. So these thoughts, this influence goes into our mind. So if the Caucasian people produce an Al Capone, we want our version of Al Capone. If they have the Oscars, we want the black Oscars. When you see gay Caucasian people, and we know that black folks, by nature, our history, if you know anything about it, in, in fact, there is not even no, uh, in ancient times, there's no word in any African language for gay, lesbian, because that was not being produced. All these behaviors come from up out of this filthy, wicked society that makes fornication and adultery legal. But again, just going off the topic just slightly, if the black woman must accept uh, responsibility for that which is uh, bad as well as good, then you should also tell your Caucasian pink friends that they, this nation called the United States of America, it should also, while it is bragging about all is good, 
then it should also brag and accept responsibility about its wickedness, its evil. But they don't talk about that, and neither do you. You and them become silent, and then you try to push this black woman in the forefront. Do you think that her black man is going to tolerate that type of evil against her? No, we are not. And lastly, I want to say, when you said most black men, you agree with certain these black women, that you agree that most black men are sorry, and they are feces. That is a lie. Most black men are not sorry. Most black men try to take care of their babies. Most black men just don't have the mentality to deal with the mind of a woman. Most black men just don't have the strength to deal with a wicked, unjust court system. And most black men, many black men, have not been nurtured. They have, they don't have the concept or the idea or can't comprehend, like yourself, you don't really know and understand what the function of a man really is. So you just talking, you just drifting, and you hope that you can find your way. And the most times, our concept and idea of what a man is, is through religious teachings that was created by men. And the sad thing is that through these religious teachings, the men that created the idea or the criteria of what a man is supposed to be, Y'all can't even live up to it. It's too tough. You can't even live up to it. So many of you turn to homosexuality. Many of you become effeminate because it's easier to act and be like a woman than try to walk in the path and walk in a manner that a true male should, just like a lion in the pride. You offer this black woman no protection. That's why she is the way she is. You have not protected her babies. You have not built a house for her. There is no nation. You got her living in the house of another man that educates her, that feeds her, that clothes her. So what do you expect, Tommy Sotomayor? Please answer those questions. You want to talk about a woman and you want to call yourself a man, but you have not protected her. You have not built nothing for her. But then when another man shelters her, clothes her, protects her children, feeds her, and all these different things, you want to come in and be the leader of the house, but you ain't did nothing. That's not how it works, Tommy Sotomayor. And so when she complains, you want to get angry. Not because what she's saying ain't true, but because it is true. And now, like the cowards we are, we want to try to turn around and try to do the same thing. But at the same time, we have done nothing to improve ourselves. So how can you talk when your house is dirty? How can men talk and your own house ain't clean? You still have not built nothing. You still don't protect her. You still have no schools for her children. You don't create jobs for her to go to. You don't do nothing as a man. So what do you expect in a society that fornication and adultery, being a drunk, and, and Mr. T Tommy Sotomayor, you yourself admit that you like to get high, you like to get drunk. And all these other drunks, and all these other dope fiends and porn addicts, that's why they listen to you. Not because so much you tell the truth. Because everybody is trying to get the blame off of them. The black women don't want the blame. The black men don't want the blame. The Caucasian people don't want the blame. Somebody has to accept the blame sooner or later. Otherwise, you're going to continue to live in this condition that you claim you don't like. Well, if you don't like it, then somebody has to change. 
You got to make a change like Michael Jackson said. Take a look at yourself. And then we can make a, this world a better place. And I'm going to, with that said, we're going to go right back to Tommy Sotomayor. <laughs> Tommy Sotomayor. And I just like many of the niggas like me that ain't shit. Were raised without a father. You say a lot of Negroes are in jail, gay, lazy, bums. I'll agree with you on that. It's a lot of down low brothers. A lot of niggas that don't pay child support. It's a lot of men that ain't men. But what you want to acknowledge is that these boys and the rest of us are being raised by women. So again, I go back and say, you take credit for when we grow up to be quote unquote something. It did it by itself. You won't acknowledge that Barack Obama was raised by a white woman, no black folks in sight, but you cheer him on as if he's some kind of pride of black people. Okay, point taken. I guess it is uh, something in the human being that makes us to find something to blame when we can't get our way or if something is not going right for us. So you're going to blame black women you're going to blame your mother and in some cases the father and in some cases both parents for what we become or what we fail to become because there is much pressure in this society not just for being a so-called good person but along with being a good person matter of fact in this society you don't have to be good you don't have to be honest you don't have to have high character you don't have to have any type of morality it's about money it's about material things so there's a pressure that you are not I am not successful unless I can show you the money. So we blame our mother for not having money. We blame Caucasian people for not having money. We blame our father for not having money. We blame the next door neighbor for not having money because in this society success is determined and dictated by the material things that you are able to obtain that you cannot take to your grave. So you spend all your life gaining millions and billions of dollars and then you die and you can take none of that with you and there's some suckers, some leeches that did not do anything for your money. They take your inheritance of what they take what they inherit that you earn, what you work for and they blow it. And mess it up. And they shame your legacy. We cannot blame anyone except ourselves for who and what we become. Especially when there is knowledge and there, there is a word available to show us a better way. But we reject that knowledge. We reject those words. But is there any uh, validity 
to the opinion that I am who I am because of my mother. I am who I am because of my father. I'm a loser because of my parents. Is there any validity to these claims? Well, to a certain extent, yes. Let me use this as an example. We're going back to the female lion. The female lion raises and nurtures all her cubs, male and female. But when it comes to the, well, actually, this also, uh, this also, um, what's the word I'm looking for? This relates to the female also, but more so to the male, because the lioness is a female. So when the female cub watches her mother, she learns many things about being a lioness. However, when it comes to that male cub, the female lion, she nurtures and she can teach. But there's one thing the female lion cannot teach. There's something that the uh, female lion has no concept of. And she cannot teach her male cub how to be a lion. No matter how wonderful and competent the black woman is, sisters, you cannot teach a male child how to be a man. And before you jump for joy, and you want to say that it takes, it takes a man to teach another man, if that male, just because you have a penis, does not make you a man, so you know better off, and you can do no better than what the female could do because you are not a man yourself. So what is it? What is it that can actually form or take this male child and give him the attributes and the things that he needs in order to be a man? Is it actually another man teaching him his manhood? Well, see, we don't even know what manhood is. And manhood, or the criteria for what a man is, is actually developed within the culture of the people from where that male comes from. The black man in this country, his example, the criteria of a man comes from out of religious teachings and also the example of the Caucasian man in power in the society that educates the black male, that gives the black male a job, that influences the black male with his media. So our teachers is the Caucasian man. It is not a black man. Because we don't have a culture. Our culture mimics what we get from up out of Caucasian society. Thus, they create the criteria of what a man is. And if you look at the Caucasian man, what is he? He is a rapist. He is an oppressor of women. He's a warmonger. He's a liar. He's a thief. He's a drunk. He's a pedophile. All these different things, and you will see those things in the black man. Because the real man is this Caucasian man living in his house. This is not your house. The black man of America don't control nothing in this house we call America. You have not created and made not one law that Caucasian people or any other people in this nation obey. You don't have nothing to do with the educational system, 
the media, law, government, nothing. You and I, we're just here. So, you're not a man. The only thing you think make you a man is your penis. And that's why so many black men, that's all you got. So they brag about their penis. In the 1970s, black men used to run around holding their penis. For no unknown reason. They don't even know the reason why. Richard Pryor said in one of his comedy skits that the, that the uh, Caucasian man has taken everything away from us as men. Except our penis. So they hold on to the penis and hope that Masa don't take that too. But in reality, he actually has taken that from you. Because if he can control you, he can control your mind, then he can, he can control your penis. And you put your penis where he believes it needs to be. And because you don't know no better, you don't understand the influence of society, you don't understand psychological warfare, you think that you are behaving and acting because that's the way you want to be. And that's far from the truth. You and I, the black man and woman in this country, we are victims of trauma and we are acting out in a traumatized manner. And instead of blaming the perpetrator of the crime, we blame ourselves. That's why you do what you do, Mr. Sotomayor, because you are a child of trauma. And instead of blaming the perpetrator, going to the root of the problem, you want to blame yourself. And yourself, then you blame your people from being victimized. But the black woman cannot teach a black child how to be a man. So what is it that's going to help the black man actually become a man? Because you don't want to be like this Caucasian racist male. That's the type of man you should not want to be. Plus he is a kind of a man. And you come from up out of the original man. The original human, the word hue means color, man, man of color. But the Caucasian people themselves, they call themselves mankind or kind of a man or kind of human. They look human, but they're not. You think it's butter, but it's chiffon. And you take them on as a role model. You take a kind of a man as a role model for being a man. But if we don't understand what has happened to us, if we don't understand our history, if we don't understand the psychological trauma that we've been through and still going through, then just like any abused victim, we blame ourselves. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. 